You're on 11 tries, which is the same number of tries as uh, certain Mr. Hansen, but you've done it in about five games less. So do you feel that you can put him under pressure for his spot? Um, well, like you're always going to be chasing a starting berth. Like it's that's what we're that's what we're here to do is play rugby. So I'm not I'm not really um, looking at the the uh, tries per game here ratio or anything like that. Like there's a lot to learn from Mac. Um, like we've seen on the international stage from him. So if I can learn as much as I can from him and pu and push him at the same time, like we're all in a good spot then. Um, so yeah, for me it's more focusing on myself getting to a level where I want to be. And that try you scored at the weekend, like your, your ability to keep your legs in the air right on the touchline, is that something you practice or is it just something that comes naturally? Uh, like I think that's that's pretty natural um, in terms of in that moment, there's not too much thinking, it's more uh, just relying on inst instinct there, uh, trying to stay in, yeah, but it's, um, yeah, it's, it's instinct, I think, <laughs> more than anything. <laughs> Dermot, competition in the back three has probably never been as strong as that is this year in comics. You have uh, you already were fighting, obviously, Mac, Porchy, Tiernan's there as well. Andrew Smith has come in this season as well, and everybody seems to be playing well. From your own personal point of view, do you feel that you've, you've been given the opportunity, you, you've scored the tries, and that it, to a certain degree it's your jersey to lose now, as long as you keep playing well, you make it difficult to be dropped? Um, yeah, like I, I think there's no one has a has an absolute right to, to the jersey because that competition is so strong. Um, so like we all know that we, if you want to play, you have to be on your game. Um, so like I don't think it's anyone's jersey to lose. It's you know it's everyone like every jersey you get is earned. Um, so that's it's like hugely performance based. Um, you want to play well. You need to play well to stay in the jersey because as you said, that competition is so strong. Um, so yeah, that's. That's pretty much it. Week in, week out, just trying to do your best to keep the jersey, I suppose. Yeah. The last couple of weeks you've been down to South Africa, you played at altitude, you played in ridiculous heat, and now you're coming back to face Leinster. From a man, from a, from a, from, a, from, a, from, a, from people like us, it would be, that would be exhausting. How have you managed to keep, do you feel refreshed? How have you managed to stay refreshed? How, have you, how does, is fatigue even a, a factor for anyone at this stage? I don't think so, no. Like, going into this week, there's no, there's no mention of, like, in terms of travel, everything we do is, uh, is tailored towards getting right as as soon as, as quick as we can, so like it's something nothing we're talking about fatigue like it's it's um, not on the agenda for us. Like we're professional athletes um, in the world of sport, you travel, you play matches back to back to back. Like it's a it's an eleven week block, so like we're we're used to this. We know um, like you have to come back. We, we were back yesterday. We we're a trainer today. Like. As a normal day, there's no no excuses. Um, so I don't think fatigue is is something that we're even hasn't even been mentioned to be honest. And then we know that your direct opponents, if you play, could be a James Lowe, it could be a Jordan Armour, it could be a Rob Russell, it could be a Tommy O'Brien, it could be somebody we've never heard of who is coming out of the Lancaster Academy. Do you when you do your work this week? Do you look at the systems? How a Leinster winger plays, or are you able to even vaguely focus on a specific player? Um, I suppose from from like watching their games so far this season, you you pick up on how they play, and, and if you spot little nuances um, from um, particular players, you take notes of them. But most of the review is done. Um, it wouldn't be done on, on an individual winger specifically. It'd be a style, say, or, or what they look to do on that edge. So yeah. South Africa was, was a big challenge, particularly last weekend, but d in some ways did that get you prepared for the next run of games that's coming here because uh, it gets pretty exciting. It's Leinster, Bordeaux, yeah. Saracens, Ulster and Munster. It's, yeah. you know, this is like the, it's not the business end of the season because you've still got a lot of rugby to play, but this feels like a crucial few weeks now to, especially with the start you've made, you need now to tighten it, you know, continue yeah. with that. Yeah, I, I suppose we would have looked um, kind of we we wouldn't look at it as a bigger block as that. Like we took South Africa as a as a block of games in itself. Um, we looked to go there and perform, and then in these next couple of games, like it's very much on a, a game by game um, basis. I suppose like we, there's no trying to get up for a Leinster game. Like it's you're up for a Leinster game. It's an interpro. Like they're they're the big games, and the same can be said for Europe. And then there's interpros after that. So like. It's uh, like they're all just huge, huge opportunities. Um, I know you said the word challenge there, but we looked at we look at it as a huge opportunity to to go and and play really well and get results. That's what we're after. So, 
you played a lot of the rugby this season and previously with Tierdon, so I mean he's he's very important for the organisation of the back three. It's it's looked pretty good this year defensively. Yeah, like Tiernan at the back is uh, he's a huge voice, really really influential back there, and um, I'm still learning a lot from him. I learned a lot in my earlier kind of academy days, but I'm still learning from him. he's like he's been really really solid at the back, and like he's he's always great to have back there. Yeah, a lot of experience. And sort of looking forward, how do you, are you happy with the way that you're progressing? Uh, I, I think I've had some some decent performances, decent involvements, but uh, I'm still hugely focused on on get it, like improving my level and just keep on like I'm not the finished article. I know that um, there's a lot of growth left in my game, and that's that's what I'm chasing, 100. percent But do you feel that the 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 setup here is is geared towards Helping yourself and other players Definitely. to do that. Absolutely, yeah. Like everything is geared towards, you know, you're getting better as, as an individual, and then you come together and you're getting better as a team. But it's hugely about um, improving here. That's like it's. I suppose I'd say any team would say that. Like it's always about improving because improving gets results, and results is what you're after. So. Do you have a favourite position as such, Jim? Um, but the wing, yeah, either either or eleven or fourteen. Yeah, I played fullback probably in school a couple of years. Um, but uh, yeah, I've and I've played a bit of thirteen mm -hmm. as well. So, but I'd say wing is where I'm where I'm best at at the moment. Anyway, um, I was at the Punchdown races on day, and a guy came up to me and said, uh, mentioned you and Roland and Jimmy and Tig and said that basically Eastham has taken over the world. <laughs> <laughs> I've been asked this before, but what's going on? Uh, it's a uh, if, you, if you've been in East End, you know, you'd know it's a very, very small part, so I'm sure, I don't think anyone knows what's going on, to be honest with you, um, but it's great, like, it's uh, it's class for, like, we're living in such close proximity, um, and for us all to be uh, to be playing at a provincial level and the lads playing at national level, international level, it's, like, it's, uh, it's class. Keen as well, as you Keen. Yeah. Kildare boy, like, it's lollies around now. Yeah, yeah, I know, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. <laughs>